Okay, so I got the um, project out of the bag that came in and it is connected. So I'm going to separate it by cutting down in between it as even as I can. You can do it on either side. So I'm just gonna take my shears and I'm just gonna cut. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect right now because we're gonna line it up later. Then you're going to look at the two animals. Mine happen to be dogs. And I need to decide which one am I going to do because we're only gonna make one part of it pop up, kind of like the example I showed you in class. So do I like the white dog or do I like this white dog with brown ears? Um, and I think which one's gonna look better popped out? Maybe this one. So I'm gonna do this dog. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna fold this other one away. Now they want one side and put it back in our bag. And then we're going to pin, this is called interfacing. It came in your kit. We're gonna pin that to the back side of our dog in a way that the interfacing, the white stuff, covers up all parts of the dog. It doesn't really have to be perfect, but what you wanna do is you wanna cover the part. I'm just pinning it loosely. And not so much on the edge because we're actually gonna be stitching all around the four. So I'm looking at the, D, the uh, dog, the, his tail ends there, so I'm covering it properly. I have my pin cushion. Poke it in, bring it up. Poke it in, I'm like stabbing the table, bring it up. Okay, so again, it shouldn't be so close to the edge because your stitch is gonna go there. I can show you with one here. So this was a student's project that was not done correctly, but the basting stitch that I'm showing you how to do now is see how it's loose stitches on the outer? That's why I'm putting the pins in a way that it's not going to be right on the edge. And some students have trouble with this, but I'll be showing you in class too. It's not so important, but usually I do like to make the pins go that direction, not down like this. So when we turn the corner, it should be down. Just so they're not poking, see how I changed them? So we're not poking our skin when we come across it. So these are all the soft, the little ball end is at the end all the way around. Okay, so all I did was like three here, about three here, three here, and three here. So it's like total of nine, about. I think I could do one more here if I wanted to. Okay, so once we have that down, you can see how I did it. It's covering up the dog. Then you're gonna wanna hold it up in a way, I don't know if you guys can see that, that you can see the dog imprint. And I found that students do so much better, just leave it pinned, by tracing that dog loosely. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of sketching around it. There's really no great way to do this except for keeping, for you to keep lifting up and tracing it. You'll see why in a little bit, but just try to do that as, as nicely as you can because that's where you're going to end up doing stitches. You can erase it if you need to. I'm doing it quickly because I'm videotaping, but take your time, lean it up. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like I went too far in the neck. I'm gonna put an X on that, so don't do that side. And then I'm gonna keep going. I mean, it's just, this is going to show the, the places where it's going to pop up. And you can make the leg bigger. So let me show you. So this section right here, whatever we trace right now is gonna be like a 3D. So I might want to make my whole bottom, these two legs together big, because it will be too narrow to stuff this with our polyfill. See the white stuff over there, the polyfill? So I'm gonna actually just go like this 
and I'm going to, we're going to do this in class together anyway. I'm just showing for the students that are, might get stuck at home. When you're at home, you might be like, well, what did Mrs. Zing show me? But you should be already doing this in class with me, so I'll be able to help you guys. Where's the tail? Okay, so it's okay if it's a little bit bigger. I'm not doing it perfectly. It doesn't matter. All right, so I have my sketch. I'm not gonna do this part. So, there you go. I don't know, can you guys see that? Can you see it, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we have that, and I said not, don't do that part because no one's gonna see this. I have the sketch of my dog. And that is how I'm gonna do it, except I'm gonna have to find a place to stop over here. And you can always flip it back. Is that gonna look normal to have stuff? Yeah, that looks fine. Am I gonna be okay with that? Sure. And make sure that's the part that's gonna pop up. I have examples to show you in class. All right, then you're gonna take your needle and you need to get your thread from your packet. Right now, this is going to be the basting stitch. If your thread is stuck like mine, I have found it best to kind of take it. Again, I'll help you with this in class because you're gonna be doing it in class some too. Okay, that's not the right end. There should be an end that's tucked in one of these little corners. Hmm. Just start something. You know what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. 